Hello Linux fans, Rob here, and today we're going to take a look at Latte Dock. Think of it as Plank for the KDE desktop. So let's move on over and take a look at OMG Ubuntu where they listed info here about the Latte Dock for the KDE desktop. They're calling it a slick plasma panel replacement. And so it does remind me of Plank. There's lots of settings and things we're going to look at. And I found it to be slightly rough around the edges, but for the most part I'm really happy with the way things are configured and the amount of options that you have. Uh, so they list here that you've got options for uh, installing the Latte Dock on Ubuntu or KDE Neon. I'm running uh, Antergos and found it within the AUR and was able to install it without any issues. Uh, they do list here that this app does not work in the KDE Wayland session and uh, this is an alpha snapshot so that's why I said it's a little rough around the edges but to be an alpha um, I find it to be really nice so it's only going to get better from here. Um, they do recommend that you um, maybe uh, build this from source as the dock is seeing commits almost every day. So let's jump over and take a quick look here. Uh, the first thing you'll notice is that it does have animations such as uh, the icons enlarging when you scroll over and you kind of see the animation in place and you can adjust all this. Uh, to add an icon you simply go into your application list and let's um, let's see here we'll add zoom into this and you simply left click and drag and you'll see the plus sign pop up there and then you could move that and you'll see that it's still a little jerky in areas when you're adding the icon but for the most part it's working great again to be an alpha all right so we're going to put that right here the other thing that I had to search around for just a little bit was uh, where I could go into settings from here and it's very simple. You simply right click on any of the icons and you'll notice here for the screen capture tool I've got a menu set so some of the icons are active icons in that you'll have a menu with options for the functions of that particular application. Not all applications but um, you know it depends on what the application is itself. Alright so from there you can just scroll down to Latte settings and you can find that again by right clicking on any of the uh, icons you'll be able to go right into the Latte settings. Alright so this is going to be um, an area where you'll spend a little time because you can adjust the location so it could be bottom, left, top and right now I noticed earlier when I moved it to the top some of the icons lost their crisp sharp look and uh, they regained it once I scrolled the cursor over the icons. It's kind of like they had to refresh or something like that. Um, you can also adjust the alignment. So here we could move that over to the right or far left so on and so forth the visibility and here is an area where I ran into a, a slight issue so when I changed it to do, from Dodge Active to Dodge All Windows and to Dodge Maximized the uh, dock disappeared and I actually had to go back into the application list and go back into the settings and change that over to Dodge Active but the Dodge Active works well and you can also adjust the delay for Dodge Active Alright, so our next tab up here is Appearance, and we could go in and change things such as the applet size. So we'll get those icons zoomed way up there. Uh, the screen height proportion can be adjusted. I'm leaving that at default now. Applets distance, and I think that's spacing between the icons. Yes, it is. So you could adjust that out. And uh, then zoom on hover. So we'll bump that way up as well. Now I messed around a little bit with animations and couldn't really tell a difference between none and one and two. I haven't gone to three yet. We'll go to that and see what happens. Uh, you can turn on or off a back panel and you can also adjust the color of the back panel. So we see that it's dark gray now as well as the transparency, but I'm going to turn those back off. And you can also adjust the uh, length. 
So you'll see here uh, highlighted by this area that we've decreased the length. You can also toggle on the shadows. Uh, so that could be all. So you'll see darker shadows appear under the icons. Locked and none. So I'm going to turn off none and just see if that increases the smoothness. All right, and we'll adjust that back down. Now the next tab you have is task. And under there you have some task under appearance. So you can show a glow around the window points. Um, and I haven't experienced that yet. Different color for minimized windows. Um, indicator for active window group, which is a little blue dot in this case. And reverse position for lines and dots. And so perhaps, yep, so that takes it to the uh, top. So lots of options here that you're familiar with if you've tried Plank or some of the other uh, dot app, apps in you know other OSs. Uh, interaction, so you can preview windows on hovering, um, highlight windows on hovering, show window actions in the context menu, and I'll have to toggle these on and mess with these a little later. Uh, show progress information for task. And then on middle click, you've got some options uh, if you've got a middle mouse button or wheel. So those options, none, close window or group, new instance, minimize, restore window or group. And then you have filters. So show only task from the current screen, show only task from the current desktop, and then by default here was show only task from the current activity. And then it goes on over into tweaks. Like I said, lots of options here. So you can shrink the thickness of the margins to minimum, which I had done earlier. Uh, by default, that was a little larger. You see that shrink back down. And then under behavior, you can enable auto start during startup. That is an option that I checked. It was off by default. And then raise the dock on desktop change or raise the dock on activity change. Then also you can set up an alternative session and then you're able to add spacers. So, uh, and I added one earlier, so we'll, we'll click add spacer and you'll see that pop up. And now you could adjust that spacer. And a lot of times you see this used, so maybe you've got a spacer here and these are all applications while the icons to the right of the uh, spacer would be uh, settings and things like that. So that would be one instance where you could use spacers. So really looking forward to seeing this come along. This is version 0.5.91 and um, I think this is something that KDE has needed. Um, you know you see this in, you know, in Ubuntu Mate for example and, and various other uses of the Plank and, and Docker and things like that. So uh, happy to see this and, and appreciate the folks who are working on this. And I'm going to go ahead and quit this and let's just take a look at changes here. Now here it seems like quit has quit. <laughs> so, so it's not closing. There we go. So I clicked off the screen and it closed out. So here you can see, again, the animation is not as fluid as I've seen, but I'm sure that will come with time. Overall, I'm really happy. I love the, uh, the look of this. It allows you to create a, a very clean desktop and appearance and uh, you know and it works well apparently with um, icon packs here I have the Sardi icon pack in place and, and everything looks great so great job developers hope this helps you and thanks for watching